Hey, what's up everybody? Here is a safe that I printed with my Bamboo Lab printers. Uh, just normal size, maybe five, six inches tall and wide by maybe five to six deep. So not very big, but just kind of a cool little print, opens and closes. You can put uh, change through there and dollar bills or whatever you want. So now that I have the K2 Plus Corality, I wanted to make a bigger one. So I'm gonna use this guy and do a 175% print. So it's gonna be quite larger, a lot taller, and it's gonna hold a lot more stuff. So I'm gonna basically start with the big casing. This itself is gonna take 16 hours and nine minutes and almost an entire spool of filament. Uh, this I'm just gonna do black and then the gears and the handle and all that, I'll do just some random colors and see how well it prints. So this is gonna be my, actually my longest print ever, not only with this Creality, but all of my Bamboo Lab printers as well. So we'll see how this does. It's just gonna be straight black. Um, so no color changes or anything for this particular part. And um, I'm not even honestly sure if I can size this this big. Um, I'll let you know if I have any issues. This is just me thinking this would be kind of cool to print. Uh, I may, it may not even work, who knows. <laughs> but why not have this thing run overnight when I get up in the morning? It'll probably be ready. Yeah, it should be. So just going to start this video with this. Um, I'll show you this print you know, in like six hours before I go to bed and I'll show you it in the morning and then I will show you how I size up all the different other parts and then print them. And I'm going to try to print everything on this Creality printer. If you like printers, uh, I have seven of them now. Um, I'm going to do a lot more videos, a lot more demonstrations and stuff like that. Uh, so if you're interested, please subscribe, like this video and comment below. I've noticed that even if you comment just anything below, uh, let me know what printer you have, just say hello, anything like that helps the algorithm and I get more views out of it and I'd really appreciate that. All right guys, see you when this thing is printing. All right guys, there's a super quick update on the safe. It's been going for seven hours and 20 minutes and still has almost nine hours to go. So this thing is no joke, this is gonna be big. Once again, it should use an entire, well, almost an entire roll of filament. And so far, so good. There was a little, I don't know if it's a layer shift or, or what, but it's kinda, yeah, it looks like a little layer shift, which I'm not sure why. But um, not the end of the world, as long as the rest of it goes good. But um, yeah, so far, so good. Once again, this is the longest print I've ever done, and probably the biggest single print. So, pretty excited. I just hope there's no more issues. I can live with that since it's just a safe, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so, nine more hours almost, it's crazy. So when I wake up tomorrow and get ready for work, it should be done. And I will show you guys how it looks then, and I'll pull it off the plate and all that. All right, thanks. Alrighty, here it is. 16 hours and 13 minutes, 281 meters. So that was a full roll, used probably right at what it said, about 800 of the thousand. And uh, it just got done about 20 minutes ago. So see how hard it is to break this off the sheet. Uh, I gotta set this down, use my other hand. One more like banding or I forgot what it's called, layer shift or something, or that's, I don't know. It, these both could just be from upsizing it to 175%, something to do with the slicer even, who knows. Hey, pretty cool. So it does have the slot on top too. I didn't use any type of a tree or anything support, and it did just fine over that. A little, yeah, looks fine to me for what it is. Uh, but there you go, 16 hour print. I use the uh, gyroid, however you say it, infill at I think 10%. I must have hit the top whenever I pulled it off. Oh well, cut that off. 
But uh, yeah, now I gotta print all the parts, and then this will have that door that opens, and then it has like a little combo pad there. So it should be pretty cool overall. And then I'll show you the size difference between the 175% and the other one. I think the other one could actually fit inside of here pretty easily. So should be a neat little print, or big print, I guess. Another real quick update. Here's just some of the pieces for the safe. Another four hours, 36 minutes of printing. And as you can see, I went with blue here. Print looks fantastic, no supports or anything, and those holes look really good. Pulls right off like you'd expect. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna turn out really good. So, quick update. I'll keep showing you these quick updates for all the parts, and then we will put it together, and hopefully everything works as it should. Alrighty, next parts are done. Another four hours and 25 minutes. And once again, everything came out really good. It's gonna be a pretty neat safe once I get everything put together. We got one more plate of prints. It's gonna be red, so the safe is black. And then it's red, white, and blue for the color, so. All right, here's the final pieces. Little mistake here, I think more by me. There's a floating region and I didn't have supports on. This thing would probably still work, but it curled up uh, because of the heat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I think, reprint this, but add supports. So that way that piece isn't sticking up. But other than that, everything else looks really good. Even the screws look real good. So that's pretty cool. There's a quick update on those parts. I'm gonna get this piece reprinted and then uh, put it all together and hopefully everything fits and uh, I'll have a cool looking safe. All right, everybody. Got the safe done, put together. Sorry, I didn't show it being put together. It was a little bit boring and I had to glue it and all that stuff just to make it hold firm. Now uh, this one does have a cool feature. Um, it does have a combination lock that actually makes it not open without the proper code. So that's pretty smart engineering, whoever built this. And I'll put a link down below to the person who built this safe in case you're interested in printing one for yourself. But um, obviously, you know, and the code doesn't matter. If someone really wanted to get into this, they could easily get into a plastic safe. But uh, so really you just change any part of this dial and your safe is locked. It's not gonna open at all. You can put on the right code, which is really cool. This is great for your kid, have them collect extra money throughout the years and then open this a year later and probably have more money in there than they think. So put on the right code and this guy opens. And remember this is 175% than the original model, so can you take a guess of where the original model is? There you go. Huge difference, much bigger than I even thought. Um, this thing works the same way. This is an older version. It does not have the little dial, um, but it works the same way. Oh, got a little cash in there. And uh, pretty cool if you ask me. So, yeah, really cool. This would be great. Any kid would love this. This would even be a cool present to print and give it to someone for their birthday or Christmas. Um, once again, very, very cool. Super easy print. Very easy to put together. Have nice, clear instructions. There's only a few pieces that I had to super glue. I like this to, just so it doesn't flop right off. And I think it's really, really cool. You can print any colors, of course. I chose red, white, and blue. And then, of course, black for the case. And I just think it looks really, really good. This was entirely printed on the Corality K2 Plus, and everything came out good. I only had to print things once that I didn't make a mistake on. I had to print this twice only because I forgot the support, and it uh, just didn't print out right. And I think I showed that in this video, but that's the only piece that I had to reprint. Everything else printed great. I could do a little bit bigger. I could probably go to 200%, um, but this is big enough for me. As you can see, it's two three two and a half three times bigger than this overall i mean look how much deeper it is and yeah if you have any money just uh throw it in there along with some change and what i like to do is this 
anytime I have extra change or a few extra dollars, I throw them in this. I used to use a jar, but of course now I'm just going to throw it in here. And in say a year, you pop this open and almost every time you're shocked, like, oh my God, I can't believe how much money I have in here. Um, I bet you in a year I'll have, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars possibly. And it's just literally a couple of dollars I've thrown in that is loose in my pocket that I forgot to put on my wallet or car or whatever. So yeah, that is the safe. Once again, I will put a link below. If you enjoyed this video at all, please do me that favor. Like this video and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment below, even just saying hello. Uh, if you have a 3D printer, let me know what kind. I will also be doing a full review very soon on the K2 Plus with the CFS. Um, it's got its big pluses and it does have a couple of downsides, which I'll show in the video. Uh, most of the real issues I've had, I believe, is user error. Um, there's some a little bit of a learning curve using the different software than like the Bamboo Lab. Uh, but I think I'm dialing it in and I'm really enjoying this printer so far. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Oh, look, I have $10.25. Very cool. Let's go ahead and... Here's three more dollars for my uh, retirement fund. Cool. Have a great day, everybody. Let me know in the comments. I like to print. Let me, let me show you a couple things. I like to print bigger things. So if there's bigger things you like uh, or want to see on this printer, let me know down in the comments. I like I printed this T-Rex skeleton, which I love. Uh, it's actually too heavy. <laughs> For the base there, as you've seen, it's leaning. Uh, here is a Hulk and a Bart Simpson. These I printed on the Bamboo Lab. I can print a much bigger version on the, you know, K2 Plus. I was thinking about doing a couple of videos where I print these cool, like, Lego-style Marvel characters, or even a bigger Bart or something. And then I would just give it away to one of you guys in the comments. Um, I'll probably do something like that in the future. And then ship it to you guys for free, whoever wins. We'll just do a random drawing, and um, I think people would love that. Why not? All right, guys, have a great day. I will see you in the next video.